Hello, everyone. My name is Yan Tingling from the Department of Applied Foreign Languages at National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. Today, I will present this case study on integrating Wikipedia into ESL EFL curriculum to enhance media and information literacy among Generation Z college students in Taiwan. Here is the overview um, of the outline, introduction, project overview, methodology, results, discussion. Integrating Wikipedia into ESL, EFL curricula has mainly been driven by academic institutions outside the United States. This integration faces challenges such as unfamiliarity with Wikipedia's policies, inappropriate data selection, using unreliable sources, and the limited genre exposure. Therefore, the objective of this course is to enhance media and information literacy and address gender disparities for Gen Z students in Taiwan, given the fact that, according to a survey, done in 2018 and published in 2022 by Digital Society Project, Taiwan has been significantly impacted by misleading information manufactured by foreign governments. So for the project overview, we call this project as Wiki Wikip was initiated in fall 2022. The first collaboration with Wikimedia Taiwan and the foundation. This project is part of the course with multiliteracies, problem-based English reading and writing one and two. The focus of this semester course for sophomores is on documenting the biographies of female artists as a group project on English Wikipedia. As for methodology, it employs a collaborative multilingual and multimodal approach. Each semester, 23 to 25 students participate with English proficiency level ranging from B2 to C1. So table one displays the demographics of the students each semester. As for the curriculum design, this 16 week curriculum design include an introductory workshop orchestrated by Wikimedia Taiwan, and then also additionally, an uh, international editor song <clears throat> orchestrated with international editors. For data collection, we collect first impression of the students on Wikipedia and reflection paper self-study workshop and course evaluation survey. Later, I will focus on the reflection papers and course evaluation survey at the end of the semester. So this is the result of the students' course evaluation. As you can see here, the red line is the department average and the blue line is the instructor's um, average. So we use spring 2022 as the baseline before the new module implementation. So as you can see that ever since um, the new module implemented, students' evaluation satisfaction for this course has been improved. Same thing applies to students' self-evaluation of instructors' innovative teaching. And as for students' reflections, um, as you can see here, um, they mention about enhanced editing skills, improved writing and communication, a better understanding of Wikipedia's guidelines, what's more, a sense of community and teamwork. They also mention the challenges they have faced and how they overcome these difficulties and how this unique experience facilitate as 
how they transform into editor and how they interact with international editors. And even more, it increased their willingness to write online. So in the discussion, the findings suggest that this newly established research practice paradigm effectively enhances multiliteracies among university students in Taiwan. The project also contributes to social change by reducing gender disparities on a global digital platform. All stakeholders, including community practitioners, instructor, and students, benefit reciprocally from this collaborative module. As for the challenges, um, students will worry about the limited exposure to the international students. And then they also worry about their on-site and online teamwork for Generation Z. Um, the future research should explore the long-term impacts of this collaborative module and also um, refine the guidelines for the ethical application of generative AI use and even some pedagogical innovation on assessments. This is the selected references, and I would like to thank my dearest students and the university department. And um, I would like to thank valuable input and great assistance and every one of you. Thank you.